What's up guys? Welcome back. It's Lou Nevis Jr. here and if you're new to the channel, you're probably like, why am I watching this? And I have a pretty good topic that I want to talk about that I think anybody can relate to. But before that, I just wanted to say what's up to everybody who hasn't seen me in a while. The last time you probably saw me was back in March when I put up a video. Alright guys, so I just got to Alex Ralph's studio and this is the current status of Alex Ralph. He wanted me to record this. He's laughing, but when I walk into his place, this is what he wanted. And he said he wanted the footage. I didn't want to put it in my vlog, but <laughs> this is this is what he It's documentation. This is what he wanted. And wow, it's been a long time and a lot has happened since. So I figured, you know what? Let me come to the beach and have like a little zen moment, a little moment of quiet. You can hear like the ocean and the birds. It's real early in the morning. I'm doing this right before I go to work, which is, we're gonna get into all that. I figured, you know, I come here and enjoy what nature has to offer but i'm also happy too because summer's coming to an end guys i know a lot of you love summer you love the heat you love the beach you love the barbecues and all that that's cool and all I, that's you that's not me i don't like the summer for a couple reasons one i'm about to go to the sand which i don't like i don't like the sand i don't like the feeling of sand i'll tolerate it, but i won't actually do it i don't like the heat i don't like the, the humidity i don't like the smell, not that I smell, but others, people smell. Just don't really like it. I was born in June, you think I would like the summer, but I don't. So, you know, I figured I'd come out here to the beach and have a little chat with you guys, so let's get into it. So, I didn't go to the sand. I, I can't do it. I wanted to go to the sand, get out of my comfort zone, but me coming here is coming out of my comfort zone anyway. Um, man, there's so much to talk about. And let's just start off from the beginning. I haven't put anything out since I want to say March or April. Um, I haven't really posted any photos since about that time either. I haven't went doing any photography. Prior to all this, um, I was doing a lot of like uh, freelance jobs and then I finally got a job, uh, like a nine to five. And that nine to five has taken up my time and time is like a big factor now, you know, between, you know, my relationship, my son, my job. This is all personal stuff that I want to share with you and I, and I think people would appreciate this because I'm, I know I'm not the only one that deals with this. Seneca said, it's not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. I've been putting a lot of recording to the side and there's no excuse for that. I blame myself for it. I could have done a lot of things. Trust me, this summer I've been doing so much that I could have been making vlogs every week. And I was just enjoying life. And I think sometimes you got to you gotta step back from the things you love to enjoy other things that you love. And, and now that I'm back, it feels weird. Some people may agree or disagree, but time for me is like the enemy, you know? You're supposed to enjoy life and, and not always worry about what's gonna happen next. Just go with the flow. But for me, it's hard. It's hard because I'm such a scheduled person. Like everything I do is scheduled. And, and if, I, if I don't meet that schedule, things just, I go, I go off. Like I don't feel right. Everything is, is like, it's unbalanced and I'm trying to get out of that, you know. I'm trying to just do things more spontaneous. But it's still hard for me because everything is just scheduled for me. And it's just been just been a difficult journey. Not that it's been hard, like, oh I can't do what I can, but to get out of that that zone that I'm so comfortable with that I've been doing for so long is really hard. 99% of people that say stuff like that are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. Every day, we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest, right? So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're going to kick yourself in the balls? So you gonna stop yourself from getting what you dream. And I gotta get into that routine again about recording, making vlogs, making making videos, and put out some great work. Um, I just miss that. I miss filming. I, I miss putting out content for for people to watch and enjoy and learn. And I think that's that's the main thing that I miss most is just creating. It's crazy because I was talking to my friend Will yesterday. We had a conversation on the phone, and I was like, man. Stop worrying about perfection. Just do it. Let people hear what you have to say because I feel like he's such a great artist. And then I sit back and I'm thinking to myself like, Lou, why are you worried about the lens? Why are you worrying about the camera? Why are you worrying about the microphone? Just press record and do it. And that's, I gotta take my own advice, you know? But remember what you want. Because if you end up catering to everyone else in whatever field that you're doing, 
that's slowly going to eat away at you and you're not gonna be happy and that's going to reflect in everything that you're doing and that's just a bad, bad recipe. Don't stop creating for yourself. Don't stop creating for yourself. It's a lot of hard work though, it's a lot of time put into it, you know, when you're editing your own videos and then, you know, you're creating the ideas. Like, none of this is scripted, this is just straight from the heart, I'm, I'm, you know, just having a regular conversation with you. What prevents people from making videos, from actually starting a YouTube channel? What is holding people back? And I think there's a number of things that are holding people back. Overthinking is one of them. I overthink a lot, uh, being afraid of failure, not knowing where to start, waiting for better gear, a better computer, a better camera. People are worried about other people's opinions. They're worried about the lack of skills or the lack of ideas that they have. Maybe they think their life isn't that interesting. And time. I see time come up a lot. I don't have time to make this video. Oh, the editing takes so much time. I feel like I've missed out on a lot of opportunities to show you guys what I've been enjoying. Maybe that's something that I need to sit back and enjoy myself and not worry about, oh, did I get that shot? Did I get this shot? Just live in the moment. And I feel like a lot of people don't do that. They don't live in the moment. They're all about living for the moment. There'll be seasons when I have nothing I want to make and so I don't make anything. And that fear, I think for a lot of people, is like, you, don't, you start getting those messages like, where are you? Where have you been? But even that, I think realistically, it's just a vocal minority. It's just a couple of people that for whatever reasons have really high expectations of you. Like, you stopped posting daily, what happened? I think most people understand like, yeah, you have a life. You don't have to post every day, take care of yourself. I think that's what most people think. They're just not loud about it. My main goal with all of this is to just build a life that I'm proud of and that I'm happy with. But for me, I wanna be able to live and enjoy it and remember it for myself. And sometimes when you're vlogging, you miss out on some opportunities of enjoying life itself. You know, now I'm learning how to balance all that. And I think that's the battle within myself. And I think with a lot of other people too, that they just battle with the idea of not able to do both and, and having enough time. When that alarm clock goes off, there's at least 50% of the time where you just, that, that soft little pillow is just caressing your head and you want to stay there. And it takes discipline to go, nope, I'm going to get up out of this bed and I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. And that discipline that you have at that moment, you win that fight. That's a big victory. Win the battle within yourself to overcome and, and achieve your goals. And I think this is where that journey starts. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe already. You know the whole thing, man. I, I don't feel like doing that whole script that every YouTube does. Listen, if you like the video, just like that. <laughs> and if, if you enjoy this content, man, follow me, subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, at Lou Nieves Jr. Again, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. I can't even speak. See you guys. I love you. In the... Man, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Oh, I, I, I need my book. I need my book bag. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in here, man. I can't just, I can't just leave that there. I, I gotta go to work. Plus, I gotta get breakfast. See the things I do, I do for y'all, man. Peace. Talk about living in the moment. I gotta take a picture right now of me filming myself. <laughs>